Hey guys, welcome once again to another episode of Jake Makes. Today we are finally going to be testing my homemade PVC air cannon. Finally. So we are outside, as you can see, obviously, and we're going to be testing this thing. I actually made three different interchangeable barrels for this bad boy. Scratch that. Four. Four interchangeable barrels for this thing. If you can see them here, I have a one and a half inch barrel, a three quarter inch rifle barrel, a two inch barrel, and a stinking huge three inch barrel. So I can literally shoot anything I want, at anything I want, which is gonna be a lot of fun. Like I said I was going to, I also went ahead and fixed the problems I had with the other version. The battery problem, I had to use a 18 volt drill battery for my initial test in the last video. I had some, uh, I don't know, it just, it just didn't look good and I had to fix the battery and make some barrels and that sort of thing. I got the barrels made, I fixed all that. Let me show you here. There we go, I got two 9 volt batteries wired together there and wired to the solenoid that is 18 volts and more than enough to power the solenoid at higher pressure which i had trouble with with just one 9 volt battery i also fixed up this uh, interchangeable barrel system a bit better and made four barrel attachments for this thing like i already said and it is looking pretty good i'm trying to decide whether i should paint it or not i kind of like it just how it is and i don't know what color to use. I never know what color to use. But anyway, all right, let's get started. All righty, let's pump this bad boy up. I'm gonna take it up to 80 PSI. That's about as much as I'm gonna take this air cannon up to. The uh, solenoid valve is rated to 80 PSI. The PVC can actually hold a little bit more. The PVC is safe to take up to 100 but I don't want to blow out my valve or anything, so I'm gonna call the limit for this gun at 80. There we are, 80, or 85. Close enough. Alrighty, I'm gonna start off by firing a potato. What else? Spud cannon, you always fire potatoes. For some distance. Just see how powerful this thing is, see how far it can go. I'm gonna use my two inch diameter barrel for this. There we are. Oh, beautiful. I can't see any light, so I got a pretty much perfect seal. Alrighty, let's go. Alrighty. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Should probably connect those better. Duct tape. Fixes everything. Okay, not that impressive. All right, let's try again. All right, I counted that was about 80 paces. So that's probably 80 yards. So I'll be honest, I was hoping for a lot more than that. It's not as powerful as I would have hoped. Our combustion powers potato cannon fires way farther than that. Probably almost double that. But I mean, it's only at 80 PSI and my valve is only three quarter inch in diameter. If I had a larger diameter valve, it would probably shoot faster because more of the air is allowed to go through at one time. So that's probably part of the problem. I also probably could have put a larger air tank on it. Well, a potato is actually a pretty heavy projectile, so... I mean, it's a little disappointing, but oh well, what are you gonna do? Let's test some other stuff. Alright, this next projectile is a little interesting because I uh, made it myself. It's made out of a cockatoo and it's really light and aerodynamic. I actually stuck some rocks up in the top of the tube 
so that give it a little more weight to it but it flies really really well it flies really far and these cock tubes are actually like about perfect for the two inch diameter PVC pipe so I literally just have to wrap some tape around it and it's this awesome perfect spiked projectile it flies like a rocket too it's really awesome I think I'm gonna do a video about these in the future but for now I'm just gonna shoot it and see what that does. Those things are awesome. Alrighty, I'm gonna try to hit this tree with my cock tube projectile. Oh man. Once more. Forgot to take my ramrod out when I fired that. Okay, this time I'll hit it. Nope. All right, now I'm gonna fire the coxu projectile at those paint buckets right there. That was awesome. Check this out. Look at that. <laughs> they blew a huge hole in the side of this five gallon bucket. Man, these cock tubes are like indestructible. These things are awesome. Look at that. Just a little bent up there. So you can see that even though the cannon's not quite as powerful as I'd hoped it would be, it's still got plenty of power. I mean, it just put this through a five gallon bucket. That's, that's a lot of power. That's pretty cool. All right, now I'm going to switch to a smaller barrel. All right, I'm switching down to my one and a half inch barrel. Because the bore is smaller, we should get a little bit more power out of this thing. We'll see. Let's see if I can coax a tangerine to fit in here without popping. Look at that, I did. It fits in there. No way. Just barely. I wonder if it'll uh, shoot. I'm going to fire this at my paint buckets down there. Man, look at this. I stinking dented the paint can with an orange. <laughs> look at that. And I've got bits of tangerine spattered everywhere. That was awesome. Don't mind the no background noise, screaming, beating on stuff sound in this video. Um, that's my brother's playing playing yeah that's playing I guess throwing pieces of giant pipe this time I'm firing at a quarter inch sheet of plywood <laughs> that was fun now I'm gonna try shooting some harder projectiles It went in on one side, right there, all the way through, and out on the other side. That is pretty insane. I think I'd have been dead if I'd have been hit by that. I hit that one pretty low down, but it still went through, which is not surprising at all. That's what I would expect. Very sizable dent there, right at the bottom of the can. Very nice. Hmm. Nope, no explosion. Just a giant dent. Which means we have to try one more time. Yay! Oh man, now everything smells like nasty hairspray. Lovely. Now I'm going to switch over to my three quarter inch diameter rifle bore barrel. And I'm gonna fire an empty CO2 cartridge. 
This is gonna be bad. I'm gonna aim at that piece of plywood we shot at earlier. <laughs> I blew my barrel off and put a hole through the piece of plywood. Check that out. Even though the barrel came off and I lost a lot of the pressure, I still put a hole through it. That is awesome. All right, this time I have it reinforced with duct tape. Greatest invention of mankind, by the way. Wow. <laughs> that was crazy. Way more powerful than last time. Went through it like it wasn't even there. Good night. That's crazy. All right, now onto the final barrel in this video, the ginormous three inch monster. Unfortunately, because the barrel is so big and there's so much air inside it, my air tank, as you can see, is considerably smaller than the actual barrel. So I'm probably not gonna get as much power just because the barrel can hold so much air that I'm just, I, I don't think my air tank has enough volume to really make these shots powerful. But I'm still gonna try it and we'll see how it goes. How about an apple? There we go. What? Hopefully this will actually do something. <gasps> nope. Yeah, so it literally went like 10 feet. I knew this barrel just was too large for this small of an air tank, there's just not going to be any pressure buildup for this l large of a barrel. So I sort of expected that. Oh well. Alright, before I end this video, I'm going to shoot one more thing. Well, actually, two more things. I'm going to shoot a couple of arrows out of my one and a half inch bore barrel. Check that out. Both of them penetrated. This one almost all the way through. See it there. And hit the backboard. This one stopped because it went partially into the bucket. <laughs> Sweet oh. Well guys, that's about all for today. Hope you liked the video and the cannon. If you like the cannon and you want to see how I built it, be sure and go check out part one right there. And if you want to see more videos by me, go check out the rest of my channel and my website. I have a link to that in the description down below. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Check out.